battery thermal management system is important. What is the need of battery thermal monitoring? Since the operation of batteries at high and low temperature deteriorates its health, range and capacity, therefore it is important to develop a thermal management system. Two battery modeling approaches are well known. First one is electrochemical based model, second is electrical equivalent circuit model. We choose electrical equivalent circuit model for this study due to its simplicity and ease to incorporate in real time scenario. For battery thermal modeling, we choose thermal electrical equivalent circuit based model. Our main task is to estimate the parameters of this model that is CT and RT. Later we can estimate the battery temperature easily. For the estimation of internal heat generation inside the batteries, we used R int electrical equivalent circuit model. Three approaches were used for the estimation of TECM model parameters. First one is the unconstrained least square, second constrained least square and the weighted least square. Algorithms were developed for mathematical equations as shown. For the unconstrained least square estimation, these were the equation that we derived. After incorporating noise, we developed weighted least square estimation as follows. All these algorithms were developed using the MATLAB coding platform. Later using 2 minute data set of current and internal heat generation, the, ma the measured data were simulated such as. These data were simulated at two different values of S and R. First one is the at 30 depths decibel, second is at 70 decibel. These were done to check what is the what is the effect of changing the SNR values? The estimation performance of all these three algorithms were evaluated on the basis of normalized mean square error. The performance of these algorithms were evaluated at two different values of sampling time. This was done because it was observed that on, de on decreasing the sampling time, the length of data set increases which directly, which directly improves the performance. R result shows that weighted least square was better in comparison to other two methods.